Okay. You got it? Let's get it! Hi everyone, the week's videos that you'll be seeing are all from the gym that I won't be going to anymore and are only from one day of the week which was Thursday when I went to that gym or it was... I don't think I recorded anything on Friday. Um, I did go to work out on that day as well. It was just the stuff that I didn't complete on Thursday so it wasn't anything um, crazy that I did as well. So I had two training sessions at the Kentucky gym that I'll be going to on a consistent basis now and then two at the gym that I will no longer be going to. That The first gym, or I guess the Thursday and Friday gym that I went to wasn't bad or anything, it just wasn't as powerlifting focused as I wanted and it wasn't, there wasn't as much space. Um, it's, it's hard to describe but it was a pretty cramped area and it just wasn't ideal and actually the Kentucky gym is slightly closer. It's a little bit more expensive um, for a membership but I'm able to get all the access that I want and they just have better equipment frankly and I'm you know, I like the atmosphere that I was in uh, the couple of days that I was training there. Uh, ideally, for my future routine, it will be about five days a week with two optional days where I could go and do arms or cardio or whatever I want, um, but five structured days, and they'll essentially be what I was doing before. It'll be the shako based program, but the uh, volume that I'll be doing will be spread out over those workouts, so it will be essentially the same volume to spread out more, and that will keep my workout sessions shorter. Um, and the reason I want to do that is because at least during the week, I'll be training in the morning, um, so I want to keep those sessions shorter. The weekends I can train as long as I want because I don't you know, have anything to do on the weekends other than to train and obviously school stuff. Um, but during the week I want to keep those sessions short because in the morning I don't want to be you know dead by the time I get to school and I don't want to have to get up at like three in the morning to go and work out for a couple hours so I'd rather keep that um, those sessions ideally two hours or less on a daily basis when I'm doing those and um, I'll have two days of the week where I won't be doing those training the optional days will be Mondays and Fridays so it will really be that three days in the middle that um, will be the big important days of my lifting stuff. Um, perhaps I might adjust that to have a day on Monday or Friday where I lift. Um, that just depends on how my work schedule works out. Uh, ideally, I'd work out both days on the weekend as well because I do have that a lot of time. I'm able to do um, a lot more stuff on those days. I'm not limited by time um, or you know having to go to school or any of that. I will have to make adjustments uh, to my routine based on like teacher meetings and different events that are happening. Um, I need, most of those um, events, I would say, happen in the evenings, but teacher meetings or um, meetings with parents or whatnot could happen before school, so I would have to adjust those. But thankfully for me, I'm a pretty structured as my daily schedule goes. So if I have a meeting before school, I'll just have to work out a little bit earlier in the morning and then make adjustments to that. Um, I don't think any sort of meeting before school will ever make me so I won't be able to train. It'll just be something that, as long as I know the day before that I can plan, uh, my day accordingly as long as I can plan then I'm good to go and um, so that's really a big things that are gonna be changing with my training I'll be focusing a lot on my form uh, improving that on all my lifts uh, with the squats keeping my chest more upright when I do squats and then obviously with the deadlifts the same with rounding um, or preventing my back from rounding so keeping a neutral spine and also getting my hips a little bit lower when I start um, bench it's really just keep going um, with what I've been doing because everything's been working with that and everything's feeling good uh, I do want to make a couple adjustments when I am training um, to touch lower obviously like what I've been trying to do but also when I'm doing higher reps to go straight up and then what I'm doing like a maximal weight to kind of do that push back a little bit more and the reason for that was just a recommendation from the Canton gym that I was at um, before the owner there recommended that um, style of training and I think that would be more beneficial um, to do because there isn't really much of a point of pushing back and kind of doing that and that gives me a lot more of a chance to miss groove when I'm doing higher reps if I'm kind of going in that awkward plane if I'm going straight up and down I'm able to be a little more consistent if I'm doing higher reps obviously if I'm doing you know one or two reps and I can push back or if I grind or something I can push back a little bit more into that more competition style um, but I really like uh, everything, all the equipment at the gym, it's really nice, and you'll be seeing clips from that next week. Uh, I didn't record anything this week because I wanted to make sure that I can actually get a membership there. They have like a trial time to make sure that you're a good fit, um, and that was the Tuesday and Saturday session, and I was just able to go and do whatever training I want. It just, I think it was just more to make sure that I wasn't a bumbling buffoon or I wasn't going to be intimidated or you know do do stupid things while I was there. 
Um, so I passed all that, so I'll be able to get a membership there. Um, no problem, obviously, because I said I'm going there next week. Um, so I have that to look forward to, and I'm just really excited to get the school year started, uh, to get training at the new gym started. It's only 25 minutes away. The gym I was at before, I think, was like 20 minutes, maybe between 20 and 25, so it's about the same distance. The only difference is I'm driving through downtown Cincinnati, like right by um, the Red Stadium and the Bengals Stadium to get to the Kentucky gym, so there is a little bit more traffic. But if I'm going in the mornings like I would like to do, there should be less traffic to deal with since it will be quite early in the morning. That would be the big detriment of going in the evening is that there's rush hour traffic and all of that shenanigans that I would have to deal with. And that wouldn't be um, ideal. I could make it work, but it would just take me a little bit longer to get to the gym. And also with my teaching stuff, I'd rather have you know one big chunk where I'm doing all the teaching stuff versus you know going to school and then leaving to go train and then thinking about school stuff after that and like kind of redirecting my focuses. So ideally, um, train for a couple hours in the morning, go to school, get all that shenanigans done after school, and then have my evenings free to either do videos or the regular shenanigans that I do, or um, to continue that, that brimming social life that I'm you know just all about. <laughs> Going out and hanging with people and not sitting in my apartment alone in, in less than respectable clothing amounts and eating food and watching YouTube videos. Probably probably the first thing. I'm probably going to be really social because that's how I like to be, but <laughs> um, we won't talk about that anymore. But if you have any thoughts or comments about whatnot, please let me know in the comments down below. As I do um, the program that I'm doing, I will be changing the shako program i'll have to adjust a lot of the deadlift volume because that's you know unique to the program so as i get that done i'll be putting what i actually did into the program and then um, be writing that out but once i have that whole sheet done i'll try to share that somehow and i know with at least john he wanted to see the sheet prior to that so i'll be sending him updates as i change random things but it's very up in the air and i'm changing a lot just based on what I want to do and what I can do without killing myself. I have to really manipulate what I do with volume and fatigue and different things like that so I can train with good form all the time, which is my goal, to continue to push myself strength-wise and train with good form every single time that I train. And um, that's really about it. There's not much else for me to ramble on and talk about. I apologize there isn't that many clips this week, but I promise there'll be lots of clips next week because I'll be recording um, all my top sets when I go and train. It would be hopefully five days next week. So you'll be seeing a lot of the new gym and all of that shenanigans. So please don't unsubscribe because I only have a little bit of clips. Show me some love because that's that's what I live for, the YouTube love. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.